The world does not owe you anything. People don't owe you anything. What is up guys and welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you guys are new hi it's keisha i'm your host of today's video nice to meet you get in here because i have a lot of things to chat about i thought in today's video i can go ahead and do get ready with me whilst i go ahead and share with you guys my thoughts and opinions on the wizard liz and everything wrong with her please watch until the end i promise you it will all make sense and you guys will get exactly what i mean yeah make sure you guys can grab a snack get comfortable maybe do already maybe do your makeup with me if that's what you guys are into guys i'm not really feeling my hair so don't comment about how messed up my hair looks i think by the end of it once the look comes together i think it could look oh my god i flip and look at dora the explorer okay we're just not going to talk about it. let's just not anyways i'm trying to cut down this video as much as possible because one thing about me bitch i can ramble i might as well have a podcast in today's video, we're going to be discussing all things of the wizard Liz, who is both a TikTok and YouTube creator, garnering over a million followers on both platforms. For those of you who perhaps aren't aware of her, let me go ahead and fill you in. So Liz is known for her self-development, mental health and spiritual content. She occasionally shows her travels across the world and vlogs a day in her life or a day in her week, but that's very rare. She more so focuses on sitting down and just letting you guys know, hey, this is advice I'd give to you guys in regards to different situations that we can all pretty much relate to, at least at one point in our life. She speaks on real life situations such as heartbreak, which if you guys are a continuous viewer of mine, you guys would know I'm definitely a victim of heartbreak. This is my first ever heartbreak. So if I don't know how to deal with it and if I'm constantly venting on Instagram, leave me alone. Speaking of Instagram, go and follow me on Instagram because I'm constantly venting about life and people that piss me off and everything that I just, I don't know, like I just, I feel like I keep it so real and I don't want to like be a cocky person. I was about to make a joke about Yeah, it's way too early in the morning to be doing this also why am i even here filming at what's the time it's literally 11 58 well it's about to be the afternoon but anyways go and follow me on instagram i'm gonna pause right now i'm gonna put it on the screen because you have no choice but to do it baby like you know you love me i you know you care ah! it costs you nothing and i was hacked recently and i'm currently a charity case so yes go and follow me every little helps literally takes less than 10 seconds if you really think about it i mean it might take another it might take another, it might take another extra 10 seconds when you scroll across it might take another 10 seconds when you scroll across my pictures and you're like oh damn this bitch is fine i am i know she goes on to talk about heartbreak which again something that i can definitely relate to Oh my god i just want to cry confidence taking your power back at times where you feel you may have lost it i used to be quite skeptical of creators who based their content surrounding spirituality because i found that there was instances it went completely left obviously not everybody is cut from the same cloth not everyone is the same i know that and i don't mean to generalize or anything but when i would typically come across a bunch of spiritual creators it'll be people selling people a dream or people just trying to be something they're not specifically tarot readers again not all sell a dream about one's destiny i just kind of felt like babes yeah, listen life is tough as it is don't come telling me something's gonna happen in my life when babes you know is the complete opposite like don't tell me that oh i'm gonna work it out with this person when babes we're beefing as in i'm gonna pull up to you and fight like how do Anyways, back onto liz though she has frustrated me a few times due to how real and uncut her opinions have been like is it just me she's frustrating me a few times because it's like babes i know you're being honest and i know that this is what i need to do but i'm so stubborn in this moment where i feel like no i want to go back no i want to just do the opposite of what it is that i truly need it's almost scary how it feels like she's directly talking to me in a lot of her videos now i came across her i believe it was it was definitely this year but i couldn't tell you what month it was but i've been a viewer for a while now actually and i know that she's very big on tiktok and that's pretty much where she started but i really knew her from youtube she would constantly be recommended to me and my stubborn ass would click not interested because she would make a video about confidence and it's like babes i just i don't have any desire to work on it so many people find her approach to be quite passive aggressive but that's pretty much what sold it for me i think what i've noticed with myself particularly i need people who keep it real with me i'm so tired of people who are just so water like to try and water down everything it's like no babes this is real life like i want you to tell me as it is i wouldn't really call it passive aggressive i know a lot of people feel like she is in her videos but i wouldn't really in her videos but i wouldn't really call it that to be fair why do i look like i'm flipping green <laughs> have i concealed yet yeah i have i actually don't even know why i've done i'm just too busy talking i feel like it was the passive aggressive it was the tone that sold it for me personally it was her not beating around the bush and getting straight to the point like hey this is what's wrong with you you need to stop feeling bad for yourself and it's like damn bitch ow Boosh, straight to my heart but okay i respect it 
And it took me quite a few times to watch her though, to really get into her Gigiana. Felt like in the beginning of me first coming across her, I was, again, I felt what you guys felt. I was like, damn, it feels like she's sending shots to me. Why does it feel like this baby is judging me? But then when you actually watch her, she's got your best interest at heart. And you know what they tell you sometimes? It'd be the strangers, the people you've never met who wish the best for you. I kind of look at her as like a, a big sister in a way, or like a mother figure. I don't know how old she is and it's nothing to do with age. Just the wisdom and knowledge that she has that she is sending on to us is something that I personally really do appreciate. Now I have an older sister and we just, I mean the older that we've both gotten, the closer we've gotten, but before we just wouldn't tell each other about stuff. And I kind of wish that I had a closer relationship with my sister during my teenage years because that's when I felt like I needed her the most. We were good, there was nothing bad between us, but I think that because we are both now experiencing real life, um, and she's in her 20s, I'm in my 20s too. It just feels like this is the time for us to be closer and we definitely are. Like anytime I felt like I needed to vent to her about anything that I may find a little bit embarrassing, she's got my back. I don't like Liz, simply because she says things that I've needed to hear. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> she's part of the reason as to why I've actually taken time out to focus on mental health. This was the year for mental health for me. This was the year of bettering myself as and as much as i possibly could to be very real with you i know a lot of you guys asked me about my therapy experience and to be quite frank babes i actually really am enjoying it i don't feel like it's a waste of money for me personally i think it's an investment because there is nothing better than truly investing in yourself how can you be better if you don't invest babes i don't want to sound like a flipping preacher because that's just not my bag but it's the real truth and i think that if something is helping me i want to put people on just know that I look bad before I look good. <laughs> I look like a clown! I look like I'll be on flipping kids network. Upon researching for today's video, I saw some comments saying they appreciate how she included subtitles, which is something that actually gets overlooked in the media space. I think for me personally, it's something that I'm looking into including, but I just chat a bunch of gibberish. I don't even know what I'm saying. So how can I include subtitles? I definitely want to take that a lot more seriously moving forward like i want to include subtitles because it's really important like even for me as a viewer watching netflix shows or even just youtube videos sometimes i just appreciate captions personally but more importantly there are people who are deaf and they need subtitles and i just feel like it should be something that's actually quite compulsory i think so does it take a little bit longer to do an editing yes it does especially for me who posts so frequently it will take me quite some time but i don't want to make any excuses but it's something that i'm going to be considering moving forward there's no editing in her videos it's straight to the point she'll be sitting down for like 30 even 40 minutes and just telling you guys straight up as it is hey this is something that you need to do do this do this do this apply this apply that her channel is basically a free ted talk but without the suits and ties and briefcase and i really do appreciate it i flipping love that you can see she's clearly using an iphone hey same i iPhone gang. I like her sitting down in her room on the floor and just chatting to us. It makes me appreciate it more than somebody who's in a flipping suit and tie and telling me, hey, stop feeling bad about yourself. She's in a setting that you're also familiar with and that's something that I saw and I thought that and I feel like that factor is what keeps me coming back to her videos. She almost has this sort of God complex. She sees herself as the best. She believes that she can get absolutely any and everything she sets her mind to. Now that's something that I'm trying to work on. I know manifesting has been such a, well it's been around for the test of times of course, but it's such a trendy conversation i would say within the last two years and it's something in which i want to definitely get on into moving forward in the new year i mean i know i could start now but i just want like a fresh clean start for the beginning of 2023 i do want to work on manifesting i do have manifestation books spiritual books and stuff like that i do just want to take things to the next step because i know that i'm capable of it and if i'm going to be very real with you guys and this is something in which i probably would just share with like my friends i'm saying friends babe i only have one I want to work on, well, I want to continue working on bettering myself, that's for sure. But I also want to work on really just fulfilling my destiny. I am so grateful to know what it is that I'm passionate about, and that's music. And I put that on hold simply because of mental health or simply because of distractions that I had in my life. She really does motivate me a lot more than some people that I know personally. No shade. She makes me want to see myself as that bitch because I kind of feel like I lost my source. Babes, you are fine as hell. Like I'm looking at myself right now like, <laughs> how is that possible? I can't describe it. Just give me a min. Babes, you're fine as hell with and without makeup and you need to remember that. Don't let nobody like bring you down. Remember that you're that bitch. Remember that if there's anything you want in this life, go out and seek it. 
because it can be done and i think that part of her rapid success has been her manifesting truly what it is that she wants in life now is luck a part to play in people's journey at times yes most definitely but manifesting is something that she's spoken so highly of and that's something that i want to do a lot more moving forward i want to actually speak out into existence what it is that i want rather than writing it down in my notebook she really just makes me want to better my life and i i have to praise it and i know oh i just cracked my bone did you hear that she generally makes me want to better my life and i feel as though she's one of those creators that i'm gonna be thankful for i'm gonna be very thankful of when life is great for me when i've actually achieved certain things and it's not me saying that she's not flawed because everybody has their own flaws for sure to be completely honest with you guys i'm just at a point in my life where i feel very stuck and if you've been wondering like why my content has been a little bit lackluster a little bit underwhelming a little bit like all over the place it's because that's how i feel i feel completely all over the place and i don't really like taking breaks because i really love youtube like if i'm going through something in my personal life i turn to youtube as a place for me to just be able to distract myself from the chaos that is going on in my life and there was a lot of chaos this year i think this is probably one of the worst years for me ever based on a few things i lost a lot of things in people because we're approaching the end of the year it's time for me to really look back on moments of this year i could have done better i could have done better and i feel like i love to blame other people but babes i'm not always the victim i've had to really reflect on my actions and wrongdoing and therapy has been helping me and i like my therapist even more because she lets me know hey kisha you should have not done that you should have gone about it maybe in this way she's not judgmental or anything but she's real and i think that i'm just at that point where i'm attracted to people who are just realists they say it as it is they're not sugarcoating it that was truly who i was but then i kind of lost it in some ways i tried to be other people and it's like no kisha you're you and that's why people were attracted to you that's why people come back to watch you because of your delivery and how you say it so i feel really bad to you guys my viewers for being all over the place and for being a little bit insecure of my content but i don't want to do that anymore last year was really good for me 2020 was a phenomenal year for me content wise and career wise and everything and i just want to get back to being that babe and i feel like it very much is possible so just just be patient with me i do believe her beauty is also a never selling point for why she's growing so quickly and why people really like her i think attraction does help that's for sure this might be the realest thing i've said it could also be disrespectful but i'm just going to say what needs to be said because we all know pretty privilege exists, you know? You're more likely to click on a video if somebody looks fine as hell, attractive, fits the standards of beauty, rather than somebody who just doesn't. I don't think that way now, but I definitely felt that way at one point. I do feel like her beauty is a part to play. She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I feel like a lot more people are inclined to click on a video of someone that's conventionally attractive. I don't want to discredit her at all though. You know, at the end of the day, what's her selling point at the end of the day, what's her main selling point is the delivery. Being herself and sharing the nitty gritty details that people would be typically scared to share. <laughs> I'm waiting for her book to be publicized if she's even thinking about it because I would eat that ish up in a heartbeat. The 20s are so difficult. It's so difficult making friends in your 20s. I feel like it's so much easier like being in a relationship and doing all of that the dating world. It's still hard, but I feel like it's so much more difficult than making friends. So what I've had to do and what I've been like advised to do is like, go like make some friends online. Like I don't like internet friends to be honest with you. Been there, done that. I feel like I have not really met up with a lot of them because I don't live here. Like a lot of them live in the States. One thing about me, I ain't going to the States. For now. <laughs> I keep saying that people keep getting offended by it. It's like, why, do you, why are you offended by the truth? I ain't going there anytime soon. A little tap, tap, tap in. I'm gonna show you how to beg it. I literally downloaded Bumble recently. Bumble BFFs. I'm not looking for love. If we match on there, hey girl. So I actually matched with someone and she was like, hi Keisha, let's watch your video. Ah! I felt so embarrassed. Like, girl, I'm here to make friends. Like, I kind of don't want people to know who I am, yeah? Like, I kind of want to just lie and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I work in flipping Sainsbury's. Like, yeah, 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 I work in a supermarket, you know, nine to five. Like, I'm going to work now. Ah! It's just the way that it is, to be fair. Mm. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh! This took her lip color to another level. Oh my god, it looks so good. I apologize if you can see some nose hairs. flip 
I just look expensive. Like I just literally look like I'm worth a million to wallet. I apologize for the clickbait title, but it is what it is. I wanna be able to praise a creator who's truly changing the game. I'm gonna probably finish off. Oh, I just realized I forgot to prime. So I actually moisturize sunscreen and skincare, but I forgot to prime, but it's okay because we're not going anywhere. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video and hearing my thoughts. I'd love to know what you guys think. What type of content do you guys want to see as well moving forward? Because I still enjoy doing commentary and gossip and tea and all of that, but I feel like we can make it more, a bit more spicy, a bit more flavorful, a bit more fun. So yeah, I definitely do want to jump into a bunch of different topics other than what it is that I'm doing, but I don't want to get too political. I'm not a political babe. Pretty much it for the makeup look. It's very much nothing on the eye. The main star of the show is just the lip combo um, and obviously the blush as well and the hair. Wait, I actually forgot to take this out. I should not have put the clips in because now it has that line. Mm. I kind of hate it. I don't know. I think I hate it because it looks yellow or green kind of, but in real life it doesn't look like that, not at all. So yeah. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I've been your host, it's Keisha, and I'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video. Bye.